Heriots winners back in 1999 after playing a clutch of finals in the late 50s, early 60s. They were winners then and of course back in 2004 Watsonians lifted the, the silverware but uh, Hoyk have really dominated their own sevens in recent years. Watsonians have been beaten finalists in the last two years losing to Hoyk two years ago in Gala 12 months ago. Heritz then with the kickoff here, Ross Jones, the Welsh Sevens internationalist, with the kickoff. Plenty of height on that ball, challenged immediately there, comes back on the Heriot side. They look to try and break very quickly, get ball through the hands, and Craig Robertson immediately tries to escape the tensions of the Watsonians' defence. The rear guard is strong and tight, and Heriot's playing in there, white and navy blue hoop jerseys with the navy blue shorts and socks but they are penalised and it's a quick tap and go then for Watsonians away they go through Jack Ferguson up towards halfway and this is good work here from McKean on the deep line position Scott McKean is not going to be caught the tar tackle couldn't stop him and Scott McKean first blood then to Watsonians we've played 45 seconds of the first half and Scott McKean showing the Heriot's defence a clean pair of heels there first blood to Watsonians the ball almost into touch, but Watsonians have won it back. Watsonians now through Jack Ferguson, back inside towards Mike Fedo. Mike Fedo is the breakaway runner, and Mike Fedo escapes the tensions of Stingle this time, and Fedo is underneath the posts, and Fedo touches down for a second Watsonians try. Across on the left-hand side, they've got some options, including Donald Crawford, who's had a quiet half so far, but Crawford's going to change all that. Crawford's going to be in for a response for Heriot's. The backtracking runner there was Jack Ferguson. Crawford couldn't get underneath the posts, but he has responded there and Heriots have got their first points on the board. Watsonians chucking the ball about in their own 22 and it's Scott McKean looking to get the ball out and he's uh, found space for McKilt and it's uh, Ewan Miller now who's found a little bit of space to see if he's got the uh, the legs on Jones and he's found McKill inside but he's tracked back by Donald Crawford but McKill's going to have the legs to go in at the other end and Watsonians hit straight back. Yeah, excellent try there from McKill and Watsonians team effort there the ball initially won by Ewan Miller from the, the restart kick Harris with the orange red boots that's swinging in quite nicely and is successful and gives us a half time score of Watsonians 19 Heriot's 5 it's worked its way out towards Robertson Robertson down the stand side not forced into touch he's able to beat uh, the, the Scott McKean there and Heriots are going to be in for a try there as McKean couldn't stop Craig Robertson it was in there for Donald Crawford and Crawford's over for the try and Crawford then has reduced their ears somewhat with Heriots now on the 12 point mark Watsonians 19 Heriots 12 it's Drewer just charging up towards the 22 and, and he's got Robertson in support who's picked up the ball dancing in one hand and he's looking to fend off a few players and Tom Wilson's there in support and he passes back inside to Donald Crawford a lovely pass out the back door and Crawford's going to go in even though Ewan Miller was there trying to thwart that attempt but Heriots have came at the traps quickly in the second half you certainly have indeed a second half that's less than two minutes old and uh, if this is a successful conversion then we're all level at 19 all it's 19-17 at the moment so Watsonians still have the advantage and it's going to be Ross Jones making no mistake with that conversion attempt back in field, Watsonians have got three men across, a three and two situation but Robertson is able to block off this Watsonians challenge, McKean goes in 
just add a little bit extra help there as McKill now McKill on the angle McKill still is going up and over halfway McKill straightens up he's got a real turn of pace this man McKill is eventually tackled there by Jones he's able to offload it comes back now towards Jack Ferguson Ferguson spins and turns there's a full 360 inside the 22 it's Herriot's 19 Watsonian's 19 but midway through the second half seven minutes each way and a yellow card has been shown and Herriot's now really up against it Watsonians level pegging with Herriot's inside the Herriot's 22 going in for some afters here Herriot's now having to concentrate defensively as it's shipped wide there by Mike Fedo on there towards Ali Harris on the angle and Dale you mentioned just off air in fact another yellow card has been shown as well but you mentioned off here that the fact that uh, Jack Ferguson, Ali Harris, Scott McKean, they're also the similar players, but they're Watsonians players now up against just five Heriots players. McKill, surely Watsonians are going to be in through Scott McKean. The referee signals the try, and Heriots will, some ill discipline there, may well cost them dear. Two yellow cards in the space of about 30 seconds. Uh, it's Watsonians 24 19 in front and Herriot's chances of lifting the trophy seem to be disappearing just at the moment McKean, he could be the man to win it now for Watsonians who are leading here by five points we've got little over a minute left to play it's picked up there by Ali Harris and Ali Harris then has surely by touching the ball down secured the silverware for Watsonians here at Hoyt this afternoon 29 points to 19 with the kick to come to Herriot's have got the full seven back. Can Craig Robertson perhaps cause uh, a little bit of uh, angst and pressure here for Watsonians? If he's able just to finish things off, but Watsonians again scrambling for the ball. The clock has actually gone the full 14 minutes. So with the, the shortened uh, time for a sevens final, Herits are going to play on because they'll want to try and get at least another score. But the clock has gone the full seven minutes. The grubber kick comes in. The kick and chase is on here. Herits look as if they could perhaps have been in for a score. That was uh, George Douglas doing a lot of good work down that uh, left-hand side inside the 22. But the referee, Ross Mabin, signals that is the end of the final. And Watsonians, having lost in 2016 and 2017 here in the final, will collect the silverware. And that's their first victory at Mansfield Park in the Hoik 7 since 2004. Final score in the Hoik 7 final on this day of festival rugby here in Hoik. Herriot's 19, Watsonians 29. Pretty gutted, we thought we had it in the final, I think the second half we came back and drawing maybe, um, but the two yellow cards were, were killer. Um, but overall, like a great improvement from, from last week at Melrose going out first round and the Gala Simmons didn't play too well, so no, we're really happy to get a few ties under our belt and score some good tries. Something that the club take a lot of pride in is the seven circuit and uh, every year we commit to going to each, each event in the circuit uh, and last year was the first year in a long time that we managed to win the Kings and I think, as you say, we've got a little, little bit of momentum now, a little bit of belief is the main thing, just to see out games today again, we were running close a few times but I think boys just have cool heads and have a little bit of belief that we can get over the line. And I suppose at one stage you were the pantomime villains knocking out the hosts. Yeah, I know, you've seen the, the stand emptied quite quick so I don't know how popular we were in the final but... Uh, yeah, that was a big game. We really enjoyed that one. Played some good sevens. You know, we went played to our structures and we deprived Hoyk of the ball. So, yeah, we're really chuffed with that one. I think the main goal will be thinking about Kings and getting as many points as you can. And hopefully the legs can keep going because it does, it does take a toll. I was feeling a little bit slow today. Probably the final was the best I felt all day. Just I think the adrenaline got us through. But, yeah, we'll see how we go.